Well, in case you haven't heard, Tesla is planning or actually creating a truck. It's not planning. They're actually coming out with a truck. And I just found this article here. It's pretty interesting. I love how ambitious Musk is with all of his projects. So here's here's what he says about this truck that they're going to uh, release pretty soon, I guess. First of all, uh, I'm just going to read it for you. They, they've got to be able to get a really great truck for, for $49,000 or less. It got to have incredible functionality from a load carrying standpoint. It has to look amazing. And the goal is to, to be a better truck than the F-150 in terms of truck like functionality. Now that all sounds like it's okay, reasonable goals to set up. But then he says, and it and be a better sports car than a Porsche 911. This is what I love about Elon Musk. He doesn't think like any regular person does. Like you, if, if, if you said to any engineer or designer, take a truck, make it into a truck, but it has to be a better sports car than a Porsche 911. They would probably think that you are insane. But look at it this way. They said that they wanted to make a small uh, sedan that could outrun the same car, a Porsche 911 in a zero to 60 sprint and everybody was laughing when he said that but then he came out with a model 3 and now the performance package which does zero to 60 in i think 3.2 seconds or something like that which is just insane so when he says that he wants to make a truck that is a better in in addition to all the other goals that this truck has to have it needs to be a better sports car than a porsche 911 i kind of believe it now, there are a few concepts out there already of what the Tesla truck could look like. And me personally, it's not anything against against the designers who, who actually made these designs. But to me, they just don't look like a Tesla. And they look kind of messy, like a chop off of a lot of different parts that just comes together and doesn't really flow really well. So to me, none of these concepts could, could actually be a Tesla truck. But that's just my opinion, because if you look at all the Teslas, they all have the same kind of flow and simplicity, especially in, its, in, in the surfacing. And they even had this design with the Tesla Semi, which also shares all these smooth lines and the smooth surfaces as the rest of the lineup does. So if you come up with a truck that looks like this, it's not going to be recognizable, first of all, as a Tesla. And it's just not part of the design DNA. DNA. So this is one of the concepts that I found. Another one is this one right here. I mean, it looks pretty, pretty cool. It's basically a Model S with a truck body on it. And we also have, uh, let's see, this one right here, which you can see it's a pretty decent mashup, I guess, but uh, it might work. Not sure about the front here with the LEDs. They just end abruptly here. And there was another one I wanted to show you as well. This one right here. This just looks like a uh, ghost car to me. And by that I mean a car without any identity whatsoever. The middle section here is obviously an F-150. Because you can see the dip right here. Which is unique for the F-150. The rest, the rear looks like a 911 is being pushed onto this design. And the front just looks kind of awkward. I, I don't like this at all. There's one concept though that I really do like, and I think this was done by designer Emre Husman. I'm not sure. I think this was it. And I've been following this guy since the Deviant Art days, like 10, 15 years ago. This looks like a really good looking truck. You know, the proportions are there and the styling is there. But the problem I have with this is same with the rest of the concepts is that it doesn't have the Tesla DNA in it. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take a Model X and turn that into what I think the uh, Tesla truck is going to look like based on the current lineup and based how conservative they are in their design changes. And whenever they re release a new product, they pretty much look exactly or very, very similar to the rest of the lineup with some minor details in proportions and uh, graphic features. So let's jump into Photoshop and let's see what we can get done. All right, this is obviously the Tesla Model X. We're gonna transform it into a truck. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, we need to increase the ride height, obviously, because this is a Tesla truck that's going to go off-road, probably work on a ranch or something like that. Means that we need to adjust the ride height just a little bit. 
wheelbase so the wheelbase is the distance between this point right here and this point right here right there so what I want to do I want to obviously chop this right here so this part is going to move backwards meaning that the wheel base is going to be longer I want to stretch it to probably about this point right here because I want it to still be a five seater the uh, greenhouse is going to go something like this and then dip down somewhere around here and then we obviously need space for a bed so if we have this design uh, with this wheelbase it's going to look very weird because this wheel sits too far in that way so we need to move it this way obviously another thing that I want to do is uh, change the wheel arches so right now we have them round like this right here what I want to do is make them more truck like so how do we do that well I'm gonna just square them out and make them something like this because to me that uh, just it, it's one of these design details that just shows that it's more it's supposed to be more rugged even though you can still clean and keep the clean design DNA of the Tesla which it's sleek lines I think that has a lot to do with range obviously which is why I don't think the concepts that I showed you previously are actually going to work because they're not very sleek and that will obviously affect the range that you're going to get with this truck so we want to keep the sleek design and uh, change these features and make it into a cool looking truck so let's get into it right now step number one obviously would be to increase the ride height that's the most uh, easiest first initial change just to get an idea and a feel for for this truck design so I'm gonna copy this into a new layer copy the wheels move them down something like that looks good then I'm gonna go back to the layer where the uh, the car is on I'm going to select it somewhere around there that looks good so we have the B pillar right here let's copy the whole thing and slide it back I think that it just snapped to this point for some reason so I guess Photoshop is telling me that this is a good point where we want to stretch this back now this is very easy up until now now comes the hard part which means which is that we need to remove the rear part of this uh, Model X so we want to have it. I want to chop it somewhere around here I still want to have a pretty big greenhouse because it still has to seat five people uh, And maybe even stretch it further back than this. Let's see. Let's see if this looks better right Right about here, maybe It still gives a lot of room for five people inside and you still have a decent bed I think uh, I think that's what Tesla is going to do when they do a truck they're going to focus a lot on the greenhouse itself uh, but at the same time have a pretty decent size bed at the rear as well so as you can see now we have all these lines right here that do not uh, add up or they, they don't have a nice flow to and we have the cuts right here and the B pillar is all messed up and we don't even have a C pillar yet so all of this needs to be changed and that's what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna speed it up a little bit and then come back and talk about the details that we just did Alright, so that was the first round of cleanup. Now I'm going to go in and uh, first of all put all of these layers into one layer and then go in and uh, liquefy it so that we can have the cool square 
uh, wheel arches or wheel houses. And we're gonna do that by just go in and do this. So check this out. Make it a bit bigger. And lower the top part. Stretch it out on the far side as well, on the other side. And of course, do the same in the front. You can tell that the wheels are getting messed up here, but don't worry, we're gonna fix that in just five seconds once we're done with this. I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. So you see that? I think that looks a lot cooler. It looks like a truck now with some, <laughs> with some dinged wheels, I guess. So I did this in a duplicate layer of the, the car. So I just go back to the uh, layer that I just liquefied and erase the wheel to have it back to normal like this. Because when I erase whatever I just did, it's going to show whatever is underneath this layer. And underneath this layer, we have the proper wheels. I hope that makes sense. Probably not. If not, just comment below and I'll be more than happy to explain it further. But it's all about having layer on top of layer. So you, okay, so here, so this is how it works. You put all the layers into one layer with the whole car in it. Then you duplicate that layer. And that's the layer that you adjust and do whatever. But underneath that adjusted layer, you have the original uh, car. So when you, once you're done with adjusting the, the top layer, you just delete whatever you don't want. The adjustments you made, delete those on the adjust, adjustment layer. And that's going to show the layer that's underneath that one. And that is, of course, the stock one. So um, yeah, that's probably the best I can explain how that works. But now all we're going to do is of course work with the C pillar because we can't have the glass just boom and like this into nothingness because that's not how cars are manufactured. It's like it doesn't look good. So what we're gonna do is add some cool design to this rear end and it's gonna look something like this. I do wanna have a spoiler up top. Let's pick red so you can see better. So we have this line going right here. And then I want to spoiler it up, up here and some sleek integration into the bed here. I don't want to do this traditional separation between the bed and the body of the car. Normally, if you look at any pretty much any pickup truck out on the road today, you have this big separation line right here. But I don't want that for this truck uh, because I don't think it's going to look good and it's not going to blend in with the rest of the design of the car. So that's what we're going to do right now, speed it up again, and then I'm going to come back and talk about the changes that we did. So as I'm sketching this, I have, I still have problems with the proportions of this truck. And I think the way to solve this is to extend the bed even further. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rear and just slide it over this way. Something like that. And also extend the overhang in the rear. So I'm going to take this part, just extend it a couple of inches, something like that, because this the bed has to be a bigger 
component in the proportions of a truck than we did than we had previous to this change so i'm gonna keep it like this and now i'm gonna go back to cleaning all these lines because obviously once we did these change changes we have a lot more mess that we need to fix and also this line right here is not uh looking good to me i want to change this line that goes something like this still have some sort of shoulder up here but make it nicer and cleaner looking so let's do that right now All right, so now that I'm overall happy with the proportions, it's time to go in and do the fun stuff, which is adding all the graphic design and all the design styling features of this car. Because at the moment, if you look at this car, it looks very flat. The side of the car is very flat. I wanna add some graphic elements in there to make it more interesting, but at the same time, keep it relevant to Tesla's design. All right, so there we go. That's the Tesla truck concept, in my opinion, how it is going to look like. The, mo the Model X front is still there. I just adjusted the uh, air intake, even though it doesn't have an air intake, but graphically make that bigger, add some uh, shield for off-roading in the front, made of plastic or whatever you want. And I didn't go with the off-road tires. You could see them in the video. But I just thought they, they, they just don't fit the, the uh, futuristic look of a Tesla, Tesla truck. So I just kept the stock Tesla wheels. I think these are 22 inch. And the rear lights are not straight from an F-150. You might think so when you look at it from this view. But if you tilt it that way, you would see that this is a light bar that goes from one end all the way to the other and connects the two sides. And that kind of emphasizes the width of the car. And you have that on pretty much every single new car today as a light bar. I think I, I love it. I'm not complaining. I think it looks really cool on pretty much every car. Maybe not the Corolla, but the other cars, yes. So this was definitely a fun challenge. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I enjoyed making it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. You know all that stuff. Maybe the bell too if you want to get notified when I upload new videos. 
I'm going to link all my car redesigns. I don't know how many we've done uh, up until today, but there are a few. We have a few redesigns, so I'm going to link them up in the corner right here. So you can go check them out if you like these kind of videos. I'm the Sketch Monkey. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me today. Have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video.